Guys, I wrote a medieval love quest poem. <laughs> uh, so, uh, imagine, um, uh, like, Chaucer, or, um, uh, you know, like, The Wife of Bath, Gawain and the Green Knight, the classics, you know, some bangers. It's in that kind of vein. Um, there's a lot of dick jokes. Um, as is historically accurate. Um, uh, it's about, it's like a little, it's about like a little page boy called Aldo, um, who uh, falls in love with the, uh, the local beauty. Um, so, and I'll play it some like sort of just sort of medieval, um, kind of whimsical, green sleeves. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Aldo was a jolly lad. <laughs> oh, it's in medieval English. <laughs> Whom love had ridden quite a mad. His heart beat a hardly for the village wench named Destiny. <laughs> She smelled as sweetly as a rose, with rudden cheeks, come hither nose. Mistress with gilden crown of hair, which curled betwixt a cracking pair of eyes. <laughs> that gleamin' like jewelry. <laughs> of teeth she had uh, at least a few. <laughs> Which, uh, now it may sound like Natalata, -nata, but at the time it was a fucking hut. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Aldo stridden off with glee, fought to mack and child with destiny. But when young Aldo speckened his profession, destiny's reply lacked the zone discussion. <laughs> Aldo boy, you fucking suck! Thou art a grotesque, hedge-born cuck. Thy stench is tart, thy nose quite comical, thy manhood, frankly, microscopical. <laughs> I hate thy codpiece with a passion, thy little tights are not in fashion, thy lip is weak, thy skull is thick, and once again, <laughs> thy tiny dick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now lay it on a bit of thicker, and rude my smell, unspeaker my pricker, my lady speaks such word to Sir Badger, and anyway, my prick is of the national average. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> it's incredibly confusing. <laughs> you like it? <laughs> Thou no such stats, quoth she. I looked it up on tapestry. Yeah. <laughs> and will pray and Lord God privately that uh, loom work had no browsing history. <laughs> <laughs> well, thou canst have my troth, quoth she, if thou complete these tasks three. A dragon dwellers in yonder glade that you must slay with hand or blade. Dragons are not like horse or pig. It is like a newt, but uh, <laughs> from their maws comes breath as fiery, and from their arse the same, probably. <laughs> collect a cleric's prize. There is a tale by Bardus sung of a monk who spake all mortal tongue, Latin, Saxon, and Portuguese, and also French after GCSE. <laughs> <laughs> he tell us a riddle, none can or not. The question, is thou a robot? <laughs> if this or so, answer you must, uh, which mosaic tiles contain a bus? <laughs> Play is a duel with the knight, Sir Timothy of Charlemagne. <laughs> Sir Timothy is fast and wise, his copies is the perfect size. <laughs> with oaken legs, his arms like beech, his bum is like a little peach. <laughs> 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 the test that must determine on who shall be the champion is thou who first severs a finger. It will be very upsetting. 
<laughs> but love had swollen Aldo's heart, and at least one other part. <laughs> so Aldo rode towards Horizon on a horse with the horsepower of one man. <laughs> but on his sojourn he espied a cave, and to his lust became a slave. He snuck amongst the gorse and thorn, and heartily yanked his horn. The flame of passion burned milder, no longer coveted he destiny's child. <laughs> <laughs> no, no finding the monk with labyrinthine tongue, nor fighting Sir Tim and his spherical bum. But as autonomy became his own, Aldon was aware he was not alone, for in the cave the dragon did sit. And it ate poor Aldo and his tiny dick. <laughs> 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 <laughs>